All right, sixth grade, here we are, ready finally to start Treasure Island. Uh, this book is divided into six parts, and that's how we're going to be doing these slides. Your questions are also going to be available through these slides. I will post these in Google Classroom after this video goes live tomorrow, um, so you can look forward to those. Um, you will be taking about a chapter a day, and I am going to be making videos talking about each chapter you read, which will be posted the day of. Um, <clears throat> I want you to read the chapter before you come to my video summing it up. So that's what you're expected to do for this. Now, there are some literary terms that we have talked about before. These came up, if you recall, when we were looking at Aaron's Gift, when we were looking at uh, President Cleveland, Where Are You? We did talk about the idea of direct and indirect characterization. <clears throat> you should remember these, but if you don't, here they are for you. Direct characterization tells the reader in an exact detail. He was a man who liked gardening. The reader doesn't have to do any thinking there. They know exactly what they are being told, exactly what traits the character has. On the other hand, there's indirect characterization. This allows the reader to infer traits. The reader has to do some thinking, some critical thinking about it. He was a man who spent eight hours in the garden every day, smiling the whole time. There you might be able to infer, he really likes gardening. I made these over the top and straightforward so that you could know and have clear examples of what direct and indirect characterization are like. Now, for chapters 1 to 6, there's going to be a lot of words that you aren't going to necessarily know. We don't really use them. So, for example, a tavern means a bar. An inn, it's like a hotel, but it usually contains a restaurant and is more home-like. It's typically a residence also where you have the innkeeper live there full time. Diabolical, extremely evil or devilish. If you are familiar with Spanish, you might think el diablo. See how that word is similar? Might help you remember that it means devilish. Atrocious, meaning really bad. If any of your fans are DC Comics, the arch enemy of Green Lantern, one of the arch enemies of Green Lantern, Atrocitus, is a bad guy. Atrocious, sounds like it, easy to remember. Condescend to do something beneath one's dignity. You can also condescend, meaning you're looking down on someone else. That's an alternate meaning. Here in Treasure Island, it's being used to mean to do something beneath one's dignity. But there are alternate meanings of it, which I would be remiss if I did not tell you they existed. So these questions, you're going to answer them as we go through the book. You have to worry about them for chapter one. <coughs> you see the due date there? That's the day you should do them. I'm, they're not due checked in till Google Classroom till 4-8. They're not due till next Wednesday in terms of when I'm going to check them. But I'd like you to do them on it by April 2nd. Now, when I come to you next, we're going to talk about the captain's song, but uh, we're not there yet. So go take a start on chapter one, and then we'll talk about the captain's song in the next video. Take care, sixth grade.